Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. Hello folks and welcome to Inkdependence.com. Uh, today I am unboxing some stuff. This is from JetPens. So let's get going. Uh, I do have a notebook in here, so I'm going to be careful with my cuttings. Yeah, we're good. There we go. All right. Put that aside. Uh, so, yes, here we go. All right. So here's a fun little Rhodia notebook. Uh, I talked to Elaine when I made this order, and so she sent uh, some extras in here. And so this is one of them. This is a little Rhodia pocket notebook. Uh, very nice little notebook. I love Rhodia. This is Graph. All right. Uh, <laughs> fun st uh, jet pin sticker. Look at that. Love at first right. That's nice. And uh, the rest of this is all plastic wrapped up. So more cutting. There we go. Not going to be reusing this envelope anyway. So we got a little bent in transit. All right, there we go. Cool. Throw that over here. And here's all the rest of the things. Um, this is smaller than I thought it was going to be. We'll see how it goes. All right. I think this back one. Whoops. Dropped a pin. Something got out first. Ah, this is the Sakura Ball Sign. Uh, this is a fun little pin that I saw on their website. And I was like, I probably ought to get one of these. Look at the weird shape on this thing. Like, it's got a pretty extreme taper toward the back. Very skinny back here. Good size up here, though. This is going to be an interesting one. Tiny little clip. Look at this little tiny clip. It's adorable. Uh, this is a, uh, a gel pen. Put that over here. Uh, let's see. I should have a couple of those, I think. So, yeah, here's the, the edge where there's no, uh, so much plastic wrap. Okay. Now we're in business, probably. So, Sakura Ball Sign. Uh, we'll check out how these write here in just a little bit. This is one that was uh, suggested to me by Elaine. I sent her an email and said, hey, so I've got some stuff in my cart, but I need to get some more stuff in there. So what should I get? And she said, check out these Sakura uh, mark, or, sorry, uh, Zebra Sarasa Markons. It has the same clip as a lot of the uh, Sarasa gels, but apparently this is a super fast drying gel that um, you can just uh, you can write with and then you can highlight over with anything. So we'll try that out. I've got some highlighters handy. Uh, and then this is the um, Otto, Oto, Oto, I'm going to go Oto, uh, Fude Ball 1.5. So look at, the, look at the tipping on that thing. This is a rollerball pen uh, that has a huge tip. And it's meant to be kind of like a brush pen or for addressing or making big marks. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll use it for headliners or something in my notes. I'm not really sure yet. But 1.5, I said I'll check that out. This one, oh, it's the Juice Up. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm looking at details in these things right quick. All right, so the deal with this one is it's a smoother flowing ink than the original. So that's kind of cool. I really like the, the Juice Pilot makes a nice pen there. Um, this is a micro sort of tip. This is a 0.4. Um, you can see very, very small. Let's so compare that to the 1.5 I just opened. Very nice feeling barrel. This is a little bit... A little bit um, rubbery here. Um, this is a very nice smooth plastic. Knock feels good. We'll try that guy out. Uh, this is, ah, the Sarasa Dry. So this is one that looked interesting too. I really like these pens that have like an interesting, uh, like, a, like a purpose for them. So the Zebra uh, Sarasa Dry Gel Pen is supposed to be smooth, smear-free writing with, with uh, dry gel ink, J-E-L-L, -L, which is fun. Uh, it's dye-based, 85% faster dry times than conventional inks, and won't smear even if you run your hand over it immediately. So, neat. And it's supposed to be uh, super good for left-handers, too. Now, I'm not a left-hander, but I do like a pen that dries quickly. So, that's cool. All right, we'll check that out. Um, this is the... Oh, Sarasa. Yeah, yeah, another Sarasa. I'd written, I went hard on the Sarasas this time. This is the Juice Up Gel Pen. Um... 
Wait, sorry, wrong, uh, wrong click. Where'd it go? Here we go, the fine liner. So this is the Sarasa fine liner, and fine liners are a porous point pen, as you can see there. I really like uh, these sort of uh, porous point pens. I like the, the there's a Pilot V Razor and uh, several others, so I haven't tried this one. I had a couple in my cart, and I said, well, let's just get one and see how it is. I don't need to get a zillion of the things to, to do that. And then this is, this is actually why I made this order. So I'm teaching this, this semester in a classroom that has chalkboards, and I actually had to use the chalkboard the other day. I hate chalk. Chalk is the worst. Uh, so uh, my friend Sarah, the Bijou, the Bijou Owl, said, hey, there's some chalk that's actually better than other chalk. And uh, so I tried some of this. This is um, premium chalk from, let me find the thing, um, Uma Jirushi. I, I, I'm not familiar with this at all, but it is some Japanese chalk that uh, is supposed to be really good. Thin coating to keep dust off your hands. It does have like a, it has a nice smooth feeling on the, the outside of it, which is interesting. Well, let's see how it writes, but you can kind of see here, I think, where that coating ends. Um, so that's cool. Uh, it comes in this nice styrofoam container. I got a variety of colors, yellow, blue, red, and a bunch of whites. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this writes. Now, I don't have a chalkboard at home because, as I mentioned, I hate chalk. Uh, but um, this might make my life a little bit better at work. So if it does, I'm going to ask my secretary, to like secretary, my administrative assistant, to uh, uh, order some more of that stuff up. And then a couple of notebooks here. This one is uh, brand new from them, and it was another one of, um, of Elaine's suggestions. This is the Yamamoto Robiki notebook. This is a five millimeter reticle grid, and the uh, notebook itself is 3.6 by 8.3. So it's kind of an unusual size. I'm thinking it might be good in this notebook, kind of as a small. And that actually looks like it's gonna work out really well. So in this Franklin Christoph Vagabond, I have um, different sizes of notebooks. I've got the Vagabond note, uh, notebook that it comes with. I've got a um, Kokio Idea notebook in there, and then I'll put this in there too. Let me open this up front. I think that'll look kind of cool. So they'll all be on different planes. Anyway, we'll try this out. But uh, it did look neat. And uh, let's see what's going on inside here. I've never used this brand before, and it is apparently new to jet pens. Oh, it feels really interesting. It's got like a sort of waxed cover. It's apparently a 100% uh, recycled paper tool too, which is kind of interesting, and it's supposed to be good for all kinds of pens. So um, we'll check out both of those claims here in just a little bit. But this has got a, it's a really interesting feel. This feels pretty tough. All right, wax infused craft paper. Yeah, yeah, that's what we've got going on here. How's this? Ooh, it does feel kind of smooth. That's interesting. We'll see, uh, we'll see what it feels like under the nib here in just a little bit. And then lastly, oh, nice. Yeah, this is a, um, uh, yeah, yeah, this is the Fools, the uh, Tsubame Fools University Notebook, and this is one that I actually ordered, so that's really um, something I was looking forward to. I've heard of these Fools Notebooks, and I like this idea of a Fools University Notebook. It's got um, nice lines here, and then along the bottom, we've got um, little markers. I guess if you wanted to do um, verticals, you could make it into a graph if you have a ruler or something like that. Uh, we'll try this out as well. It, there's almost no English on here aside from universe, aside from notebook and made in Japan. So uh, let's see details about this guy. High quality paper, uh, traditional lattice work, closely spaced horizontal lines and widely spaced vertical lines. Visible and holding it up to the light. That's interesting. Let's see. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I don't know if I can represent that here. Let me grab a flashlight. Yeah, there you go. Look at all these hidden lines. That's really interesting. Neato. You can see uh, big vertical lines, little tiny horizontal lines. That's interesting. I wonder if that's useful when you're writing on it, because you can, I guess I can barely see it now that I know it's there, but that's cool. All right, well, that's all the things. So that's the jet pins unboxing. Let's go ahead and try out some of this paper, because it looks like fun. All right, not chalk. Chalk, you get to go over here. Um, let's try out this fool's notebook first. In fact, I'm going to write in this one and then I'll get to this um, Robiki at some other time. So this is the Zebra Zensations. I like that kind of silliness. Zebra Zensations Sarasa Fine Liner. This is a uh, 0.8 millimeter. Z-E-N uh, Sations.
yeah, it feels nice. It's got a it's got a good light feel to the pen. It's pretty long, but uh, not too long to use. And of course, the cap doesn't really weigh anything, so you can post it without any problems at all. Feels nice. Feels nice in the hand. We'll have to see how this one goes, but uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking the way it looks on the paper. I think that looks uh, that looks nice. You end up you end up getting kind of a soft look from a lot of these uh, porous point pens, uh, and nothing came through. I'm not really expecting it to. This paper is supposed to be pretty good, so. I'm not shocked. All right, next up is the point .4. This is that juice up, pilot juice up. Does it have a ball in there? No, it doesn't. All right, so this is a point .4 millimeter. You can immediately see, oh, sorry, there you go. <laughs> you can immediately see that it's much smaller. This is a pilot. High nose. All right. Yeah, you can barely tell what color this is, actually. It's kind of a blue black. Um, it's supposed to be, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a blue black, so that's good. Uh, it is a very, very fine line, but it's not scratchy at all, which I'm a little bit surprised by. I thought this would be uh, much scratchier at a 0.4, but uh, pretty nice. All right, so that's set that aside. Uh, let's save the big one for a little bit later. This is the Sarasa Dry at 0.5. This looks like a pretty fat 0.5. Let's go ahead and see. Ball is a little bit gummy on the end. Got some ink in my hands, but <laughs> there's Mr. Nose right here, just out of the camera line. So, zebra. Uh, so, you're going to put this 0.5 out here. I like the way this feels. Mr. Nose, I can't. <laughs> Hold on. You can't be up here, pal. Not right now. The zebra. That's a dry. This one's supposed to be very quick drying. I got a little bit of a smudge there. This is a coated paper. Uh, let's get a little bit of this action. Let me give it a. That's pretty good. I think I just caught a little ball of ink there. Yeah, pretty good. A little bit of a smear there, but that was just after I wrote it. So let's open this guy up and see what's inside. It's got a very nice feeling uh, cartridge. This is the Zebra JLV.5. Japan 1711. So there you go. That's what in, that's what's in here. Uh, and this looks like it's a pretty common cartridge size, uh, refill size. So you could uh, you could put this in other pens, but it's actually a very nice feeling pen. I like the way the the grip feels in this guy. And this clip is great. I really like these big uh, springy clips. Good knock. Cool. Totally worth a. And I forget what I pay for this thing. A buck or two. Uh, here we go. This is the uh, Sakura Ball Sign, which is so tiny. Another point four pen. I went small on this one because a lot of these pens weren't coming in big sizes. So this is the Sakura ball sign. Uh, this is actually a very, very fine point, but it's not digging in or anything. And that might speak to the quality of this paper, but uh, it writes very well. It's nice blue black uh, and I'm digging it. Uh, usually I don't go for point fours. I wish these came a bit bigger. And maybe they do, but I feel like I would have gotten some uh, if I had seen bigger. 0. 0.4, oh, there's 0. 0.6s, of course, that I missed. 0.8s, all right, these come in much bigger sizes. So I'll have to get some of the bigger ones here uh, next time. Oh, they come in glitter. I'm not surprised by that. Sakura also makes jelly rolls, which you might be familiar, uh, familiar with. So uh, I'm not shocked this is good. It's got a really nice feeling mechanism, too. Well, all that clicking. You can really drive somebody nuts with that. All right. Uh, and then this is, oh, here's one bigger one. One more. We'll do that in a sec. All right, so here's the Auto Fude. This is the 1.5. Holy crap, that's big. <laughs> that's big. O H T O uh, uh, Fude. That is a, that is a big, <laughs> that, that's big. Uh, yeah, if you're going to be addressing something or you want to make a lot of big marks, that's pretty good. Man, if I could get one of these in red or something for, you know, marking student papers, that would really, I think, get the point across. And, uh, yeah, nothing's coming through here. All right, let's go ahead and do this one because I've got, uh, let's see, I need a highlighter right quick. All right, here I have a Stabilo Boss uh, original pale yellow. There we go. This is the Zebra Sarasa. How big is this? 0.5. And uh, they call it the mark on. That's got a nice feel to it. Let's go ahead and 
try that out. Hey, very nice. Yeah, good job. Uh, didn't look like it smeared at all. I don't want to try this on others because I know Stabilo will make some of these others smear. And I don't want to ruin this beautiful pale yellow. All right, so this has been all kinds of fun stuff from JetPens. Uh, thanks, JetPens, for throwing in a couple extra things here for me. Uh, this is, and you can also get these jet pens. I'll throw that in there too. Um, so yeah, if you have a, a product that you think I need to try out, let me know what it is in the comments below. Uh, and if I don't have one, I will throw it in my cart, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can find. So I will see y'all later. Peace out.